how to set up online store on Wix. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be teaching you how to set up an online store on Wix. If you're an entrepreneur, small business owner, or a creative individual looking to sell products online, Wix provides a user-friendly platform that creates and manages your own e-commerce website. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the steps of setting up your online store on Wix. From choosing the right template, to customizing your website, adding products, setting up payment methods, and managing orders. With Wix intuitive drag and drop editor and built-in e-commerce feature, you'll be able to create a professional and visually appealing online store in no time. So whether you're selling physical products, digital downloads, or services, Wix offers a range of tools and options to showcase your offering and reach customers worldwide. You'll have the flexibility to customize your store's design and set up shipping and tax settings and even integrate with popular marketing and sales tools to boost your online presence and drive sales. So let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to have to do to start your online store is of course create a new website. In here in manage.wix.com, we will be able to create our website by simply clicking on create new site over here on the top right. By clicking this, we will be redirected to this page over here where we will begin the setup for creating our website. So we're simply going to wait for our page to load before we can proceed. And as you can see, the first thing we're going to have to do is choose a platform to start creating our website. We can choose from either the Wix editor or the editor X. Now there are huge difference between the Wix editor and editor X. So it is completely up to you on which one you're going to use. But for us this time, we're going to go with the Wix editor. We're going to simply click this and we will be able to proceed with the creation of our website or rather the setup for our website. So we're simply going to go here. Now in this section, you're going to be asked what kind of website are you creating? We have the samples over here. We have online store, portfolio, blog, consultant, or technology company over here. So of course, for today's video, we're going to be focusing on creating an online store. So we're going to select the online store option over here. Now when you select that, it will show you other options as well for a more specific answer. For example, your online store will be about clothing. It will have the option online clothing store and all of this option over here if ever you are looking for a more specific answer. But if you want to be general, we're simply going to settle with the online store. So we're simply going to click on next this time and let's proceed with the next step. Now over here, you're going to have to name your store. Now don't worry with the name. At the start, you could either type any name you want or you could already settle with the name that you are trying to create. As you can see here, it has the message you can change it anytime. So if ever you do change your mind, you could easily change it later on. So for now, we're going to go with online store testing because we're testing or teaching you how to create your first or how to create your own online store. So after that, we're going to click on next. And after that, you're going to have to select different features or different application that you would like to be part of your online store. As you can see here, it is already built in that you have an online store on your Wix. You could also add a chat system as you can see here, which would allow you to chat with site visitors from desktop or mobile. You have your forms over here like get information, subscribers, and payments with forms. And you also have your Instagram feed over here if ever you have your own Instagram account that posts the different products you're trying to sell. Now, if you don't have that, you can simply disable this if you want to do that. You also have this other options over here where you could choose from and add into you the features that you are going to have on your online store. If you want to add a blog, you can simply select this and it will add a blog feature or a blog option for your website and it will automatically add it for you to easily use it later on. By choosing any of this option, it will provide you an assistant and give you an easy way to be able to add the specific sections into your website and you can simply choose any of these options depending on what you would like to have so for now we're not going to choose any but like i said earlier completely up to you we're going to settle with these three ones for now then we're going to click on next and let's see the next step 
Now, after that, the next step is setting up our store. We can either go back to the dashboard if you would like to manage your products, business tools, analytics, site settings, and more, or we could start designing our sites right away. Although if you want to start setting up your products and stuff, you're going to have to go to the dashboard to be able to do that. You won't be able to do that with our design section over here or when creating your website. So we're going to click on build with template or you could also let Wix create a website for you if you would like. But for us, we're going to go with the template. So we're simply going to click this. And in this section, you will be able to choose different templates that is available for you. You have your different categories here. You have fashion and clothing, jewelry and accessories, arts and crafts, home and decor, and all of this option that you are seeing right now. It is completely up to you. For example, you would like to use the clothing store. You don't need to use the specific template for clothing. It is just a template for you and like a suggestion of what type of product you would sell for this template. But you could simply or you could actually use this template to sell anything you want. For example, you would like to sell a mobile uh, accessories for mobile and you would like to use this template over here. You are completely free to do that. This is just a suggestion. The naming here are just suggestions for you to use but the way you use the template is completely up to you. So for example, we would like to use the clothing store. You can either view it or simply edit it right away. So we're going to click on edit and let's see the editing page of Wix so that we will be able to check out how we will be able to create our website using the Wix website editor as you can see here. And as you can see, this is our website editor right here. It's going to give you a quick guide on what the different things you could do with this website editor. As you can see here on the left side, you have your add elements, add section, page and menu, site design, add apps, my business, media and content manager over here. You could use all of this option to build up your store. As you can see, this is our website right now. You could edit every single section that you are seeing right now. You could edit every single part and create it into your own. For example, we have this section over here. This is the featured item section. You could click on quick edit, which would allow you to edit the title, change the section background, add some elements over here. As you can see, in this section, you will be able to edit them in your dashboard. You get edit them directly here, but it will all be in your dashboard if you would like. So we could check out our dashboard actually by clicking on manage products over here. As you can see, this is like a mini preview of our dashboard. You will be able to edit your store products in this section, your orders, gift box, gift cards, and blogs in this section if ever. And as you can see here, these are the different products. Right now, these are just sample products that we are seeing on our store, but you will be able to edit them over here and add them over here. So for now, we're going to proceed. As you can see, we'll be able to edit them by simply clicking on the quick edit over here. If you would like to add some elements, you're simply going to click on this option, add elements, and then you will be able to see the different element option that you will be able to add to your website. As you can see here, you will have a quick preview on what it would look like. You have your buttons over here, as you can see. In the middle, you will have your types of buttons and then the preview over here on the right side. So you will be able to see right away what it would look like. And you can simply drag it into your page over here to be able to put it wherever you would like to have it on your page just like this. And then you could assign a link just like this and everything is very easy to use. As you can see here, there will be a lot of details and very easy and beginner friendly for anyone to create their own online store with Wix. And you could also edit your sections over here. You could add sections. You have all of these categories over here. You have your pages and menu if you would like to manage them with more ease. As you can see here, you have all of this option that you have over here. You have your sign up and login, store pages, blog pages, and member pages. If you would like to have a more detailed editing for the different sections, you will have to go to the dashboard and edit them directly over there. What you're doing here mainly is like what your website would look like, how things would be functional, and how things should be looking. So that's the purpose of the website editor over here. Content-wise, you're going to have to go to the dashboard. And after creating and editing your online store, you can simply click on publish over here on the top right and you will be able to publish the store for everyone to see and use. And that's it guys, that's how you can set up and create your online store with Wix. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.